and gents, hello and welcome along to another customer review from Land Power TV. This time, uh, something a little bit different. We're, uh, we're having a look at a swathing machine uh, made by uh, McDon and new to me as well, we're in a crop of borage today. So it should be quite interesting stuff. So to find out more about the machine, we are out with uh, Green Heath Farming and we have got the man known as Seth, who is going to give us his uh, opinions on this machine and his experience and how he's got on with it. Um, so Seth, before we dive into the machine, uh, if you could just give us a bit of sort of business background about sort of Green Heath Farming and what you guys get up to. Uh, well, Green Heath Farming um, has been going for about seven, seven, eight years now. The owner, Thomas Clayton, and um, Ian Stevens uh, bought this place uh, about seven, about seven years, seven, eight years ago. Started off with about 80 acres, and then this uh, Christmas Hill Farm came up for sale. So obviously that was a no-brainer. So that's next to, immediately next door, is it? That? Yeah. Well, Christmas Hill is what we're on now. Right. Um, Toggum Farm is just across there where the main office is. Yeah. Um, and then obviously that was the first so 80 acres, which is now a solar farm and um, we've just gone from strength to strength, also machinery dealing, obviously building solar farms, storage, contracting, also cattle as well. All right, oh, you've um, got plenty so, to keep so, your business. So everything, yeah, everything to uh, keep us going, never a dull moment. No, sounds like it. And, um, and we get paid for it as well. All good stuff, isn't it? That's <laughs> a Brucey bonus, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. on the uh, on the farming side, what is it that uh, you sort of do, kind of cropping wise and that kind of thing? So cropping wise, wheat, obviously borage, which is a new thing now. Sugar beet, turf, potatoes. And we don't really do sort of barley. Uh, it's not really sort of suited for our land here. Mm. And do you quite like the? I suppose you could say the specialist crops like borage and. And the turf as well so yeah I mean like I say borage with this is the first year for us like a lot of people learning on our feet I've got to admit it's the first time I've seen it up close yeah I've heard of it before yeah what is it um borage seed is basically the same size as wheat we swath it and that it dries outside yeah um depending so you on let it wilt much, in you, the swath. You, you will in the swath yeah. yeah and it basically goes down flat to the floor um, All right, it wilts down that Yeah, much. it wilts down, yeah. Because yeah, the swap yeah, behind yeah, looks yeah, a fair old thing. Yeah, but then that goes to basically nothing. Yeah. Um, and then you have a special header that you put on your combine. Right. Um, it's like a pickup header. Yeah, pickup yeah. reel, uh, like a Sherborne Reynolds one. Yeah. Um, and then that get, goes through the combine. You sort of generally set the combine up as though you're doing rapes, so I'm told. Right. And then that gets dried, combined, and then sent are sent off and then it's crushed for the oil um, and the oil goes into uh, pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. And what happens to, I suppose you could say, well I don't know, the straw, the stalks, do you chop that? Well, there's yeah, there's the nothing. There's, well, there's nothing there, left? There's nothing left. Right. No, um, it's literally So by the time zero it's wilted down? By the time it's wilted down, there's nothing there so you can go straight in either with your direct drill or whatever you're following. Yeah. Um, but talking to uh, other other growers where I've been, um, they said to follow wheat behind borage. Um, that's a hell of a crop. Is it? Yeah, apparently. So, so does the borage do the ground some good then? In yeah, a certain way. I think it does because although you do you do put fertilizer on it, I don't think that takes that much out of the ground. So the agronomist uh, says. But I say this is the first year we we don't know. This is uh, your very the, first the year. Very first year. Right. Very first year. Um, obviously, we're on sort of black stroke, sort of sa quite sandy land here. Um, other places where I've been has been on quite heavy, heavy land. Um, so you know, that'll be interesting to see the con uh, comparison uh, in the in the type of land. Yeah. And how long would you normally leave it to uh, to wilt before you dive in with the combo? Uh, with a com well, obviously that depends on how much sun you're going to get. But yeah. they're, they're, the experts say sort of two or three weeks. But you you, you just uh, come and have a look and see how how that's sort of started the shallow. 
Yeah. Um, before you come in, um, the, the seed will go. You'll see the seed because that's really black. Like everything in uh, farming, we're controlled by the weather. I mean, when we drilled it, when we drilled and power had this, this was just nothing but a dust bomb. What time you did you, did you uh, drill it at? We drilled this, that would have been so April. Right. Because that's a hundred day crop. Um, that's a nice thing because you, you can get it in late. Yeah. You can put it in late. And what's the, what's the yield like off it? The yield, um, I believe you're only talking probably half, half ton an acre. Right. Something like that, but obviously with that, uh, that's a high, uh, a high uh, value crop. Yeah. You know, so all right, you're not getting, you're not getting big yields, but obviously you're getting paid Something for your product. Yeah, for it. yeah, yeah, because it is a niche product. All I was saying, it's going in uh, cosmetics um, uh, for us ugly people. That's <laughs> <laughs> to buff our heads up. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. Because like I said, I've never seen it up close before. Is it a crop that's uh, getting more popular in the UK now or is it? I, th I think it will become more popular. I think it will become more popular. Um, you know, talking to people uh, where I've been, they're impressed with it. So obviously they're gonna, they're talking about growing more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But and, and like I say, until, and, until we were growing it here, you know, we'd never heard of it. No. Um, and then obviously when you travel about, you think, oh, there's a field of barrage, there's a field of barrage, there's a nice field of barrage. You start seeing it, and yeah. Then you, yeah, yeah, that's like anything. And with this being your first year of barrage, is this the yeah. first swear that you've had, or have you had oh. swearers in the past? Yeah, no, this is this is this, this is, is the first. This is a new venture this is as well. Totally brand new to me. Two weeks ago. Right. Yeah. So up until two weeks ago, you'd never. Never, never seen one. Right. No, never well, seen you look one. like a natural. Well, thank you. Well, I had some good train, and uh, to be fair, the boys from MacDon, yeah. um, they were, you know, really good on the train. And um, I mean, I had uh, two people uh, with me one day when we first came, um, and then another chap came and had a whole day with me. And to be fair, he would have had, a, you know, he'd had another day. So, yeah. you know, they're not, they're not a company that just. Dump you the machine. No, they look after you. And uh, yeah. say, Roto, there you go. Yeah. Um, no. And they'll make sure you get the best out of it. Yeah. And yeah. to be fair, um, you know, to start with, obviously, new machine, never used one before. That takes some getting used to. Um, but Dave, Dave from McDon, he said to me, he said, within an hour, I'll get you using yeah. this to its full potential. And, it, and he did. Yeah. It was, it was. Quite an eye opener. What you can actually do with these machines. Yeah. Well, that's it because it's, well, it's, it's sort of part combine, part mower, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah.